Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Laiba and welcome to my another YouTube video and today I'm so excited to make the most trendy cake these days that is a Taylor Swift blank space cake let's see if I could recreate this cake as pretty as it looks in the music video let's get started here I'm using 8 inches heart shaped vanilla sponge cake First of all, I'm going to demold my cake sponge. It smells so good. Now I'm going to cut it into two different layers. First of all, I'm going to cut the doom. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if you want to learn how to make a perfect vanilla sponge cake, I will be sharing this recipe as soon as I hit my 1000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends and family. So here I'm using white American buttercream to cover my cake and to fill up the cake I'm using cherry jam. Um, this is my first time making a vanilla sponge cake with a cherry jam filling and let's see how it works. Here I'm using a regular piping bag, cutting a little tip. Also, I am filling up another piping bag with the jam. Let's start stacking up the layers. First of all, I'm going to put some of the buttercream on the board. I'm going to place the first layer. So, I'm soaking up this cake with the help of some milk. So now for the filling, I am going to make a ring with my buttercream on the sides. And now I'm going to fill the jam. Now I'm using this metal cake scraper to scrape all the excessive buttercream. It's time for the second layer. First of all, I'm gonna soak it. Make a ring with my buttercream. Other layer. Now I'm going to put this cake into the freezer for 10 minutes and then I'm going to do the other layers. For making an edible fake blood, you need a cup of water. Then you have to add half cup of caster sugar. Mix it well until it dissolves completely in the water. Then you have to add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. Then add 1 teaspoon of custard powder mixed with a little bit of water. Now you have to add some drops of red gel color into the mixture. Add some more few drops of gel color just to get the perfect blood red color. So now that the fake blood is perfectly chilled out, I'm going to put this into a balloon. And I'm going to put this like this. And I hope it works. This okay, cool. 
I've made two to three balloons. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, that's it. Okay, these three balloons are ready. <laughs> so now I'm gonna cut the hole inside my cake and then I'm gonna place these balloons inside, okay? So for that, I'm using my paper cutter. I'm leaving it into the fridge for like 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna do the final coat. So now I'm gonna go for the final coat. First of all, I'm gonna do the top with the help of a spatula knife. Bigger one. Let's go for the sides. Our shared cakes are a bit difficult than a regular cake because maybe I haven't done the heart shaped cake before, that's why it's happened to me. It's a bit tricky and I'm feeling so nervous about this, I don't know. I wish it turned out to be good. Before smoothing your buttercream, make sure your spatula or your scraper is perfectly clean. Now I'm going to put this cake back into the fridge and then I'm going to do the vintage piping. So now for the vintage border, I'm using this 6B nozzle and I'm simply just doing this. Now I'm going to do the writing that will say boys only want love if it's dark. I'm going to write. I've got a blank space baby and I like your name. This cake looks so cute. So I'm doing some of the sprinkles for it. Some sugar balls. So that was today's madness. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.